activities for our All About Me subject. We will be talking more about nature around us and the things that surround us. I hope that you will find the activities exciting and enjoyable. Have a nice day! Kids, can you still remember the rooms of the house? Let's name them again. Bathroom, bedroom, living room, dining room. Good job, good job, kids. What about telling the appliances or things that we see in each room of the house? Let's start with the bathroom. In the bathroom, we see toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, a toilet bowl, sink, towels. How about the things or appliances that we see in the bedroom? Can you name them? Very good! In the bedroom, we can see pillows, lamp shades, a drawer, a bed, and a blanket. How about things that we see in the dining room? Well, in the dining room, we see tables, chairs, plates, glasses spoon and fork and in the living room we can see a sofa a coffee table and a tv set now in your activity on page 9 of your all about me book you are going to circle the items as they appeared in the rooms of the house shown in the picture open your book on page 9 so this is our activity for today. What you are going to do is to circle the pictures of items as appeared in the above <clears throat> pictures. So we have here a bathroom and a bedroom. What are the things that you see here in the bathroom? So you have here a toilet toilet bowl, a bathtub, a sink. Okay, now what you are going to do is to circle the things here that you see from this picture. Can you see a toilet seat here or a toilet bowl? Yes, so you are going to circle the toilet bowl. Can you also see a sink? Good job, so you also have to see a uh, circle this one. How about in the bedroom? What are the things that you see in this bedroom? Okay, we can see a bed, a drawer, a lock shade. So what are we going to do? We are going to circle the things here that we see from this picture. So we can see a bed. Okay, this one. We can also see a drawer. Okay, this one. And... We can also see a lampshade, this one. <clears throat> you are doing a great job, kids. So we will now move on to the next page, which is on page 10 of your book. How about in this activity? So what are we going to do? So we will be learning about preserving stationery. Stationery are the things that we use in school or in offices like paper, pen, pencils, ruler, scissors, folders, envelopes. To preserve them or to prolong their use, we have to use them properly. Keep them clean and put them in proper places. 
So for this activity on page 10 of your All About Me book, what you are going to do is draw the pictures of items as many as appeared in the above picture. So this one. And write down their counting number in the boxes below. So here. Okay, so we are going to identify first the stationaries that are in the above picture. So in here we have ruler, <clears throat> paintbrush, pencils or color pencils, scissors, and a notebook. So what are we going to do? We are going to count them. After counting them, you are going to write the number of each stationery in the boxes that are provided. So we have here an example, the paint brushes. Based on the above picture, how many paint brushes do we see? So we have one, two, three. Three paint brushes. You are going to write the number three here on this box. The next thing that you are going to do is to draw the number of stationery. So since we have three, we are going to draw three paint brushes. One, two, three. We are going to do the same thing with the scissor. Based on the above picture, how many scissors do we have? Good job, kids. We have two. One, two. Now you are going to write the number two on this box. The next thing that you are going to do is to draw the scissor. We already have here one scissor, so all you have to do is to draw one more in this box. The next thing that we have, or the next stationery that we have, is this notebook. So again, based on the picture, we only have one notebook. So what are you going to do? Write the number one on the box provided. Now, you are going to draw, but we already have here a notebook. Okay. Next thing is ruler. Again, you have to base on the picture that is shown above. How many ruler do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four. So you are going to write the number four in this box. And then draw the number of rulers on the boxes that are provided. We already have here one. All you have to do is to add three more. So one, two, and three to make the number of ruler four. <clears throat> the last thing that we have here or last stationery that we have here is the color pencil. So how many color pencils do we have? Again, go back to the picture as shown above. How many color pencils do you see? Okay, count them. One, two, three, four. You have four color pencils. Write the number four in the box provided. And then again, draw. We already have here one pencil, so we have to draw three more. One, two, three, to make the number of pencils four. Okay, I hope you are enjoying kids. Now let's move on to the next activity which is on page 11 of your book. Okay, if you are ready, we are going If you are ready, we are going to discuss about dangerous appliances at home. So dangerous appliances are the materials at home or in school that can possibly harm us when they are not used properly. Examples of these appliances or materials are knife, scissor, needles or pins, and sometimes hot materials just like the boiling kettle. Okay, so what we are going to do is to write X. Okay, write X over the pictures of dangerous 
objects. Okay. So what are the dangerous objects here? Very good. We have here the boiling kettle. So you have to put an X. What else? We also have here a knife. A knife is a dangerous object. You should not be playing with it. And also, we also have here the pins. Pins should not be played with and they should be put in their proper places. Another thing is the scissor. You should not be playing with a scissor. If you are going to use it, you have to ask mommy or daddy for help. So these are some of the dangerous objects that you should not be playing with. Okay, for the last activity, we are going to open your book on page 12. For this activity, we are going to arrange the events by writing the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the boxes to show proper use and care of household materials. So as you can see here, kids, we have this set of pictures. Okay? And each set of pictures Tell us something about taking care of household materials. Okay, now we are going to find out the steps on how to take care of these household materials. Okay. We are going to write down the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the box to arrange the events in sequence. So for the first set of pictures, this is taking care of household materials in the kitchen, just like plates. So, based on these pictures, what should be the first thing or in what box should we put number one? Is it on this box, this box, this box, this box, or this box? Good job, kids. You are going to write the number one on this box. Okay, because as you can see, the boy is getting plates from the dish rack, preparing it for a meal. So after getting plate, what is the next thing that the boy should do? Okay. As you can see, we have here the boy okay, and his mother about to have their meal. So number two should be in this box. How about number three? In which box should we put it? Okay, we are supposed to put number three in this box. Okay, as you can see, the boy and his mother are now eating. Now after eating, what are we supposed to do with the plates that we used? Good job, kids. Of course, we are going to clean them. So number four should be in this box. And after cleaning them, we have to let them dry okay, by using a cloth. And after that, we have to put them back in the dish rack. So number five should be in this box. Okay, the same thing with the second set of pictures. So, the second set of pictures shows us how to take care of stationaries. So, how do we take care of our stationaries? Okay, based on these pictures. First, okay, you have to, if you are going to use them, okay, you have to take them out of their boxes. Okay, so you have to put number one here. The next thing is, okay, use them maybe by um, sharp uh, drawing. Use them in drawing. 
You just like this girl here. She's using her color pencils to color her drawing. After using them, you have to sharpen them. So number three should be here. Okay, how about number four? Okay, after using them, you have to put them back in their boxes. And you have to put them in their proper places just like this one. The girl is putting back her stationaries in her bag. Okay, do the same thing with set of picture number three, which shows us how to take care of our wardrobes or clothing. So that's all kids. I hope you enjoyed your activity. Congratulations kids, you did a good job. Your activities are all well done. I hope that next time, you will again give your best shots. See you again next time. Bye.